welcome to the first episode of Fishing with Jay. Sometimes it's a real letdown, but sometimes some really cool stuff happens. I've been traveling the planet for the last 15 years searching for those last untouched fisheries with my homies. Everywhere. But this time, I'm gonna take this bus. She's seen better days. And go all through North America, spreading the word of fly fishing. Fly fishing saves lives. And finding those characters that do well and maybe even fish well. And if not, I'm gonna teach them how. I'm a bored mother Let's go. First guest is gonna be, well, there's not gonna be a guest. We gotta get a rig ready. We've been taking this bus all across the country with the pig farm for a few years now. We try to get a lot of people engaged in the outdoor community, throwing fun events across the country. We've had some epic journeys. The bus needs a lot of help. It started out as an Alpine preschools bus in Colorado. They had it converted to four wheel drive from the factory. With the help of Bahio sunglasses, we just got the ability to renovate the whole bus. It's gonna be a lot of work and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh. So we're gonna build the ultimate fishing rig. So the big plan here is to take out this old floor, this old vinyl floor, and, and put in a new vinyl floor. It's kind of like COVID project. No telling how many preschoolers have walked across this bad boy. It seems like every time you do any sort of construction stuff, there's issues. But a lot of work to do and a whole lot of crap in there. Holy smokes, look at this. What a mess. And it's gnarly. Okay, the next step. What I think for an ultimate fishing rig, you gotta have a waterproof floor, a one piece waterproof floor. You can have people coming in and out with waders and wet feet and whatnot. One complete sheet of vinyl flooring. Oh, it's redwood. I'm sketching out a floor plan. I have a list of all the stuff that we need to have. We're gonna need off grid power solar system a 12 volt fridge that runs off the solar system, multiple beds and multiple passenger seats, a small place to do some dishes, a small place to do some cooking inside if we just have to, and then lots of storage for gear, uh, waders, fly rods, boots, fishing gear. When the people come aboard, sometimes they come for a couple days, sometimes they come for weeks, sometimes they come for months. We try to set it up so there is as many beds as possible and can still seat as many people as possible. Cabinet making time, and I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay. What thing is? Hopefully this works. If not, it'll just be another setback for this little cabinet idea I have. It's gonna be a sink, uh, a stove, a little bit of cutting area, and then hopefully some drawers and, uh, and whatnot, but we'll see. Learning how to encarpenterate from the YouTubes. See, in construction, a lot of people say, measure twice, cut once. Oh, nice. I'm more of a Square. estimate once. Well, that's gonna have to be addressed. Cross your fingers kind of guy. Lots of curves in the bus. Tons and tons Makes it uh, way harder when everything's just not square. Not that I have the talent to make everything square, but look at this. Make everything square, even though the bus is not at all. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's straight. Well, decently straight, and then it's the same thing on the other side. Had no idea it could be this uh, difficult. What we're gonna do is scribe a line with this little dude right here. Like anything that I've liked in my life, I've had to do it with my hands. And when that's not involved, it's kind of harder to get interested. And fly fishing is interesting that way. You have to use your hands. You can't just pay someone to do it. Looking pretty okay. The carcasses are coming together. This has been a learning experience. 
Making stuff square and cutting stuff right, I guess, is the key. They make it look a lot easier on YouTube. Hoping to make a little bit of progress. <sighs> Major League setback. I spent days on building something, and now I gotta tear it all apart and raise it up and rebuild. So I had to tear all of this apart. That's what you get for not being a pro. It has bad planning techniques. That's like two days worth for nothing. Hard breaking. Oh boy. My father was a carpenter. It always seemed like a little bit of wizardry to me. It's been an interesting learning experience. One of the best things I can see in life is, is the, the process of learning. And, and because I don't know anything about woodworking, uh, I learned a lot. And, and electronics, solar, all this kind of stuff. Such a valuable tool this old YouTube thing has been. Oh, it's an exciting day. One I've dreamed about quite a decent amount of my life. And that's the idea of having a solar system and something that I live in. Solar time. Well, I figured I'd save a ton of space by just stacking the solar panels, you know what I'm saying? You just stack them on top of each other. No, I'm just kidding, that one's going right there. Time to drill some holes in the ceiling. I hate that. Most of this stuff I learned off YouTube from a YouTube channel called DIY Solar with Will Prouse. Pros. VHB tape. I've read that it's replaced rivets. They use it to hold windows and skyscrapers, all sorts of oh, stuff. Oh boy, that feels good. Just installed the amplifier, thanks to John Wong, farmer in Fort Collins and uh, Baron Watchman. Did I tell you about the new seats? Searching for conversion van seats for a long time, for months, and they sold them for 50 bucks each. Check these out. The most comfortable seat I've ever sat in, $50. Seat belts, oh, oh dang. Yeah, they're super comfy and they swivel. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Hot. Yeah, they swivel, armrests. I'll be dipped. Oh. 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 So hopefully this guy's gonna replace that guy. It's probably oh. the most uncomfortable seat. I like the camo in the world. Next level. Next level seats. Look at these things. Kind of starting to look like a whatnot. I'm starting to get the hang of this, I think. That's legit. I mean, that's like Bob Vila would be. Yeah, pretty good. Good, pretty good. Or maybe not. Maybe he would be like, how could it take so long? What's up guys, these are the neighbors. Hey We're learning a bit about, about solar, the solar system <laughs> and Chuck Berry today. All right, this is the cabinet door that's gonna fit the solar system. Mm -hmm. Solar controller, for positive. there's a bunch of components that go to it. It's not just solar panels and batteries. The first thing it's gonna touch, so it comes from the solar panels to the solar controller into the battery bank. The battery bank is how we power everything. So our, our 12 volt, <laughs> that's direct current. DC. Add the amp hour total together. 40, 40, 40, 40 for a total of do -do 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 -do. abacus, abacus, 160 amp. Oh, yes, this uh, woodworking journey has been very interesting. It kind of fit together, learning how to build boxes. It reminds me of when I first started fly fishing. You make a lot of mistakes. Oh boy. And then something starts to click. Had an evolution of uh, carpentry. Well, I don't know if cabinet building's for everyone, but holy smokes have I found a little bit of enjoyment. The countertop in this whole process. I'm making a countertop. This is a uh, bird's eye maple. Hoping it's gonna work. And it gives me a certain feeling of independence. I feel like I'm not going to be buying stuff if I could build it. Started the, the process of building a chuck box for in the cabinet. Beat up from the feet up, but I made good progress. Sometimes it's a real letdown, but sometimes some really cool stuff happens. 
Not very long ago, I'd never really worked wood before. I feel like I have at least some sort of competence now in the carpentry world. The feeling of accomplishing something yourself. There's something to be said for that. The social medias and the video games and the internet, all the not real stuff. Neatest stuff that old mother nature made. Wood and fishing. The action of doing it when you finish some sort of piece or you catch a fish. Your hands and you were involved. <sighs> lots, lots, uh, lots done, lots learned. Getting closer. I figure pretty quick here. Gonna start having to do the motor and the transmission. Excited. No matter what nobody says, nothing's completely without David Wallace. been in that situation where you, you have a tool that you've been kicking around for years and you see it every day and it's always in the way and then all of a sudden you need it and it disappears the day before. That right there, where's that coming from? 